Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is doing well. So today with me I have the all new 2024 Bajaj Pulsar N150. So let's take a walk around and understand what all specifications Bajaj has given in this bike. There will also be a very detailed ride review uh, because we are allowed to take this bike outside and uh, do a small test ride and understand how it performs. and uh, this particular bike the hugger has been removed for some purpose uh, it is kept inside it was removed in front of me itself so but it does come with a hugger so don't uh, assume that this particular version of n150 does not come with a hugger and all so i just wanted to clarify that up front because uh, you know the bike right now is without the hugger so this is the white color you get a black color in it and you also get a red color now red color you can see it in my uh, ride review the version that i rode was red in color now let's start with the specifications this is obviously a 150 cc machine uh, 149.68 to be precise and it produces 10.66 of a uh, uh, max power at around 8500 rpm and torque is about 13.5 nm at 6000 rpm and it's a five speed gearbox and is in constant mesh i have ridden the bike and the gearbox is quite nice quite notchy and all the gears fall in place perfectly the front suspension is telescopic and it does not get any adjustment at the top anywhere okay no adjustments and the rear is a mono shock rear is the mono shock but you can adjust it over here it has got around five steps to adjust from soft to hard talking about the brakes it gets a 260 mm single channel disc at the front by the way the bike is abs and it is single channel abs at the rear it gets a 130 mm drum and now this is not a abs ring but it is just a speedo sensor tire up front is a uh, of the size of 90 90 17 it is a 17 inch mag wheel and the tire is mrf nylon grip zapper FS Prime. At the rear, you again get Nylon Grip Zapper C, MRF, and the size is 120, 18, and 17. Of course, the mag wheel is 70 inch, and both the tires are tubeless, front and rear. Seat height is around uh, 790 mm. It's quite low, so when I sit, I can easily flat foot from both the side. I myself i am like 5 10 in uh, in height and i can easily flat foot apart from that you get a very wide seat over here you can see it is how wide it is must be almost 10 11 inches and again the pillion also gets a very wide comfortable seat so if you plan to do a little bit of uh, you know long rides if you want to go to your village or something on weekends or something like that you can uh go double sit with pillion and you both are going to be comfortable in fact a child can sit in middle by the way don't try to ride triple seats and all uh, even though the seat is big enough ground clearance is 165 mm but uh, i guess it is going to be pretty good i mean good enough for you to ride around in the city uh, if you see right now it is parked parked on the side stand and this is the amount of space over here uh, you also get a main stand and you get a underbelly exhaust there is no exhaust on the side so because of that you know because of no exhaust on the side you're going to be able to park the bike very easily in crowded places and all you're not going to have any issue you get rubber on the front footrest and it is foldable and the rear is also foldable but this is without a rubber to start the vehicle you get a kick over here and you also get a electric start so that is one good thing and since we are talking about the starter let's start the bike this is how the bike starts it's got a nice bassy exhaust so you get a led tail lamp over here okay but the indicators are halogen let me turn on the indicators for you so this is the halogen indicator you don't get any hazard switch on the bike so there is no 
uh, there's no option for you to turn on all the four lights together and uh, the headlight by the way is bifocal projector and LED and you get two LED DRLs too apart from that uh, this is your pass light your upper dipper is over here your indicators here this is your horn uh, of course this is your uh, engine kill switch and your starter switch and in the speedometer you see your side stand indicator your both you know left and right indicators over here your high beam warning over here okay then your rpm limiter light over here abs light over here you get the fuel indicator over here your trip meter is up here uh, time is down here this is your speedo your gear indicator your rpm needle and battery and other engine warning lights by the way if you start the bike in gear and if you put the uh, if you if you start the bike when on side stand and if you put the first gear the bike is going to shut off so that is one good safety feature by bajaj you also get a usb charger over here you get a 14 liters tank and this is going to give you uh, roughly a range of 500 kilometers now why i am saying 500 because uh, being 14 liters you can fill around 10 to 11 liters in it and the range the average fuel efficiency would be somewhere around 45 to 50 in city riding conditions i forgot to tell you one thing about the indicators they are flexible and they won't break in terms of you know parking issues where you have tight parkings and all where indicators touch the other bikes or someone is passing bike and passing by and you know hitting the indicators so it is going to bend it is not going to break easily accessory wise you obviously get both the mirrors in the bike uh, the levers are not adjustable you get a crash guard over here a nice big crash guard horn is single of course you get the kick and all you get the main stand uh, you get the hugger i'll show you the hugger it is uh, one bike is parked inside i'll show you the hugger on that main stand obviously there and you also get a sari guard i'll show you that inside and side stand is obviously there and this is how the bike looks there are the two other colors one is black and one is red and this is how the tire hugger comes on the bike and let me also show you the sari guard you get a sari guard and a ladies foot rest over here so this is how the bike looks these engines by the way are all air cooled for the new n150 there's no oil cooler there's no radiator in this safety wise bajaj has added this uh, reflectors over here and it also gets uh, mud splash protectors on this uh, front suspension on both the sides so with that said i'll end the vlog here let me know uh, if you have any questions uh, if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button do share the video with your friends who would be interested in purchasing this bike it can also be a family bike where uh, you just started earning and you want to uh, or you just got married and you want a decent sporty looking bike you can go in for this if you want to take it to college if you're a college going student it is a nice bike if you want to do slightly touring on this you know small amount of touring you want to take it to villages and all you can easily do that Is it clear that I still